Hi, my name is Dominic Hauser. I'm the author of Build Location-Based Projects for iOS. This book features four fun little projects about GPS, sensors and maps. The focus of this book is having fun while learning something new. It starts with a project that lets you draw on the map while working around in real life. In this chapter you learn how to ask for authorization to access GPS data. You fetch and store this data and draw the path of the user onto a map. The user can even write something with this app and share the result with friends and family or post it on social media. The user interface of this first project is created using code. The next project transforms your iPhone into a measurement device for measuring the length of a swing. While swinging, you hold the device and record acceleration data from the built-in sensors. The data is drawn on screen using core graphics. You then use two sliders to measure the period of the swing. The reason why this works is that the period of the swing only depends on, on the length of the swing and some nature constants. The user interface for this project is created using Interface Builder and the Storyboard. In the third project you learn about geofences and how they can be used to trigger some action automatically. A geofence is a circular region in the real world. Whenever the device with that geofence defined enters or exits that region, code can be executed. You use this technology to automatically register when you leave or enter your home or any other place of your choosing. From the collected data, the app calculates how long you have been outside each day. This is a Swift UI project. The user interface is built using Swift UI and the data is managed with Combine. The resulting project can easily be expanded to measure, for example, the time of your daily commute. Last but not least, you build a small scavengers hunt app using GPS and augmented reality. The app lets you place the word high literally onto the ground and someone else can use your phone to find the, the place and see the place text. This is possible because of an interesting ARKit feature, storing and loading an augmented reality world map. Here again we use the storyboard and the interface builder for the user interface. Apart from the technologies and frameworks used in this book, you also learn about best practices. I tell you many little useful tips and tricks to make your life as an iOS developer easier. I had a lot of fun writing this book and I hope you have at least as much fun reading it and exploring new things. Thanks for watching.